Hi, my name is Mallory Kovit, and I'm the program director for the Jewish Graduate Student Network. Welcome to our DIY Passover Seder. What is Passover, and what do we recommend that you have to participate? Passover is one of the most widely practiced Jewish holidays and commemorates the Israelites' liberation from slavery in Egypt. Every year, Jewish people come together to retell the story, celebrate our freedom, and remind ourselves of those who are still awaiting liberation. For our DIY Seder, you can watch, listen, and read along at your leisure, or feel free to use supplies at home to follow along interactively. You may or may not have wine or grape juice and a drinking glass, a cup for Elijah, a cup for Miriam, three boards of matzah, a sink for hand washing or a bowl of water, parsley, celery, or other greens known as karpas, horseradish or maror, a shank bone or a beet, or maybe a dog bone, a hard boiled egg, charose, which is apples, nuts, and raisins, salt water, an orange, and then a festive meal of whatever foods you love. You can pause this video now to get your supplies ready if you don't already have them handy. No need to rush. See you soon. Hello and Chag Sameach. My name is Max Moline. I'm the Next Gen Director at the Jewish Federation of Greater Philadelphia. This year, besides removing chametz from our homes, we have also physically removed ourselves from one another. As we distance ourselves from 11 bread products, so too do we distance ourselves from our friends and family. In this way, we are following both the commandments of God and the commandments of living in a society and safeguarding our collective humanity. We are blessed to have food and the choice to take a break from bread. But if we decide to hang on to those precious carbs, that would be okay too. Together in our hearts, we say, Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melchalam, Asher Kichanu B'mitzvotav V'tzivanu, Al Bi'ur Chametz. Blessed are you, our God, ruler of the world, who sanctifies us with mitzvot and calls upon us to remove chametz. Hi, we're Sharon and Jeff Resnick, some of the founders of Focus, an organization that provides Israel education for young professionals. For Kaddish and the Chef Dianu, the first blessing over the wine, fill your cup with the first glass of wine. Lift the cup, say the Kiddush, and drink as you lean to the left. All Jewish celebrations from holidays to weddings include wine as a symbol of our joy, not to mention a practical way to increase that joy. The Seder starts with the first cup of wine and then three more opportunities to refill and drink some more. Savri Marnan Rabbanan Rabbatai, Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Borei Peri HaGafen. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Bachar Bani Mikolam, Robo Mimana Mikolashon, Vikirishanu B'mitzvotav, Vatiten Lanu Adonai Eloheinu, Vihava Modin L'Simcha, Chagim Uzunim L'Sasson, Et Yom Chag HaMatzot HaZeh, Zman cherutenu mikra kodesh zeher letziat mitzrayim Hivanu vacharta biotanu kidashta Mikol hamim Moadei kotshacha v'simcha sason hinchaltanu Baruch ata Adonai mekadesh Yisrael v'hazmanim Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Sheheyanu v'kiyemanu v'giyemanu l'asman aseh Amen Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who creates the fruit of the vine. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who has chosen and exalted us above all nations and made us holy with his commandments. And you, our God, has given us love, appointed us times for happiness, holidays, and, and seasons of joy. This feast of Matzot, our season of freedom, a holy convocation recalling the exodus from Egypt. For you have chosen and sanctified us above all nations, and you have given us as a heritage your holy festivals, in happiness and joy. Blessed are you, God, who sanctifies Israel and the festive seasons. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who has granted us life, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this occasion. Hi. 
Hi everyone, this is Tzliel Stolzeft. I am the executive director of Greater Philly Hill Network. This is my beautiful baby Lila and my wonderful wife Colette. Hello everyone. And this is a Seder plate. Karpas and Maror, we're gonna get to you later. First up, Beitza. The egg that we place on the Seder plate is meant to remind us of the natural cycle of life. That even after enormous suffering, we can experience renewal and rebirth. Zro'ah, the lamb shank bone, symbolizing the sacrifice ancient Israelites brought to the temple during Passover. In our story retelling, we are reminded that the Israelites sacrificed lambs and used their bloods to mark the doorposts of their dwellings, so the angel of death could pass over their homes and spare their children. Last but not least, Haroset. A mixture of chopped fruits and nuts, representing the bricks and mortar used by Israelite slaves when building Egyptian cities and monuments. Chag Sameach, happy Passover. Hi, I'm Jen from Westchester Hillel, and this is the matzah, the bread of affliction, reminding us of our flight from bondage, where the Israelites left Egypt in such a hurry that there was no time for the bread to rise. And this is the orange. This is a modern tradition and inclusion on the Seder plate. An orange recognizes and celebrates the role of Miriam in the Passover story and other women throughout Judaism. Hello, my name is Shalon. I am the Shlicha of the Tzofim and the IAC. And now we are going to wash our hands before we continue with the Agedah. So I welcome you to join me. Hi, I'm Mallory from the Grad Network, and this is Yachatz. There are three ritual matzot on the table. Break the middle matzah, and one half becomes the afikomen. Since this is a DIY seder, instead of hiding the afikomen, save it for tomorrow and smear whatever you like on it for breakfast. Normally when we break bread, we say a prayer. Yet when we break the middle matzah, there's no prayer. How can that be? And what does the breaking of the matzah into two pieces symbolize? On Passover, we celebrate freedom. But to reach freedom, the Jewish slaves had to escape from Egypt and Pharaoh's army. Miraculously, the Red Sea split and the Jews were able to cross without harm. Yet Pharaoh's army was swallowed alive. Is splitting the matzah a symbol of the splitting of the Red Sea? Or is this silent and reflective act a symbol for our incompleteness? We have prayers to be finished and promises to be redeemed. Traditionally, we hide the broken matzah, hoping it will be found at the end of the Seder and pray that we will ultimately know ourselves. We continue to discover what makes us whole. Hi, my name is Miriam steinberg Egith, and I'm the director of the Center City Kahila. The Passover story is from the biblical book of Exodus, which discusses the ancient Hebrews enslavement in Egypt and how they were freed. It's the central story of the Torah and reflects some of the biggest themes in Jewish history, foreign oppression and the longing for freedom, the sense that Jews are a protected and resilient people who will survive any adversity, and the contrast between living outside of Israel in what's called the diaspora and living in the Jewish homeland. Those themes and their contemporary resonance are a big part of the Passover holiday today. 
Hi, I'm Galia Godel. I'm the program manager of the LGBTQ initiative at Jewish Family and Children's Service, and I'm the director of JPROUD. The Passover story begins when the Pharaoh, the ruler of Egypt, starts worrying that the Jews living in Egypt will outnumber his own people. His response? Forcing them into slavery and decreeing that every son born to the Hebrews should be drowned in the Nile. It's part of the story that, for Jews, has come to symbolize anti-Semitic persecution more broadly and the historical struggle to endure it. One baby, named Moses, is saved and adopted by Pharaoh's own daughter. Hi, I'm Jeremy Bennett. I'm the Senior Associate Regional Director for the Anti-Defamation League in Philadelphia. When Moses grows up, he's told by God to command Pharaoh to let the Jews go. Pharaoh says no, and God sets out to convince him by way of the ten plagues. As the story goes, during the tenth and final plague, God passes through the land of Egypt and strikes down the firstborn of every household. But the Jews have been told to mark their doors with the blood of a lamb they've sacrificed, the Passover offering, and so God passes over their homes. Jews give thanks for being passed over and protected from the plagues. It's a reminder that even when Jews are oppressed, the Bible teaches that they are a chosen people and will survive. My name is Ken Cohen. I'm the People to People Coordinator in the Tivots.Negev Philadelphia Partnership of the Jewish Agency. Um, and this is the gist of the last part of the Agada. Pharaoh's son is killed during the final plague. And as a result, Pharaoh lets the Jews go free before changing his mind like Pharaohs do. The ensuing chase ends up with Moses trapped in front of the Red Sea before it's parted by God for the Jews to cross. The act of divine intervention that finally leads them to freedom and, after 40 years in the desert, to the land of Israel. Hi, my name is Eliza. My name is Solomon. Danny Horn, and I'm the program director for Repair the World Philadelphia. A highlight of the Passover Seder is Magid, telling the story of Exodus from Egypt. Questions are a springboard to explore how this night is different from all other nights. This year, around the world, Passover will be different from all others. 
In this time of global pandemic, our lives have been disrupted in significant ways, and we find ourselves asking questions we may not otherwise have thought to ask. Tonight, we bring our questions to the table with hopes to gain wisdom and understanding. I invite you to reflect upon the following questions. Hashtag difference amidst distance. Just as the Israelites hastily baked matzah as they left Egypt, many of us recently made hasty preparations for an unknown journey. How did you rush to prepare, shape your feelings of readiness for the journey ahead? How do you gather enough provisions while making sure everyone has access to what they need? Being in restricted and narrow places reminds us that many things are beyond our control. How can we remain aware of those around us who are already struggling and now must navigate this time too? When we dip twice in salt water, it reminds us of the abundance that we celebrate in the spring as well as the salty tears of those experiencing scarcity. How can we identify both material and non-material abundance, knowing every person has something to contribute? Can, offer, can offering gratitude shape our approach to moving through challenging days? How do we recognize and share our own privilege in moments like these? How do we share our surplus with those who are increasingly vulnerable? Can we zoom out beyond our personal narrative in this moment and find our role in the broader collective of who makes up our community? Hey there, I'm Ross Wiseman, Tribe 12's Engagement Associate. Now, let me tell you about these four children. So the Tover mentions children four times in connection with the Exodus story. Rabbinic Midrash, or commentary, explains that this represents four different types of children. The wise, the wicked, the simple, and the one who does not know enough to ask. Of course, each of us can demonstrate these and other contradictory qualities at one point or another in our lives. During the Seder, we should tell the Passover story in a manner that welcomes question and debate. We're encouraged to understand the Exodus story through the different perspectives of those around us. It is also our challenge to apply this openness to the world around us in our day-to-day -day lives. Who are the people in our lives whom we listen to? Are we open to ideas different from our own? Who are the voices in our communities that are silenced? Do we seek out the perspective of communities different from our own? Whose voices are we too distant from to hear? And what keeps us divided? While it is traditional for children to ask their parents questions during the Seder, asking questions is not only for children, according to the Talmud. Even two wise and learned people having Seder together should ask one another questions, and even one person having a Seder alone should ask themselves questions as well. Hello again, still Max from the Jewish Federation. In the years our ancestors lived in Egypt, our numbers grew, and soon the family of Jacob became the people Israel. Pharaoh and the leaders of Egypt grew alarmed by this great nation growing within their borders, so they enslaved us. We were forced to perform hard labor, perhaps even building pyramids. The Egyptians feared that even as slaves, the Israelites might grow strong and rebel. So Pharaoh decreed that Israelite baby boys should be drowned to prevent the Israelites from overthrowing those who had enslaved them. But God heard the cries of the Israelites and God brought us out of Egypt with a strong hand and an outstretched arm, with great awe, miraculous signs, and wonders. God brought us out not by angel or messenger, but through God's own intervention. Hi, my name is Susan Becker, and I'm the Assistant Director at Hillel at Temple University. The Ten Plagues. As we rejoice at our deliverance from slavery, we acknowledge that our freedom was hard-earned. We regret that our freedom came at the cost of the Egyptians' suffering, for we are all human beings made in the image of God. We pour out a drop of wine for each of the plagues as we recite them. Dip your pinky finger or a spoon into your wine glass for a drop for each plague. These are the ten plagues which God brought down on the Egyptians. Blood, Dom. Frogs, Sephardea. Lice, Kinim. Beasts, Arov. Cattle disease, Dever. Boils, Shaheen. Hail, Barad. 
Locusts, Arba. Darkness, Hosha. And Death of the Firstborn, Makat Behorot. Hello everyone, my name is Jonathan. I'm a resident of the RSJ Philly Moshe House. Uh, drink the second cup of wine. We raise our cups as we recall the second promise of liberation to the people of Israel. Let us glorify God who performed these miracles for our ancestors and for us. Let us rejoice at the wonder of our deliverance from bondage to freedom, from servitude to redemption. Hallelujah. Baruch atah denoi lehenu melechala b'rei pri hagafen. Now we will sing, Dayenu. Let's do the first few lines together. Eilu hotzi hotzi anu hotzi anu mi mitzrayim hotzi anu mi mitzrayim dayenu dai dayenu dai dayenu dai dayenu 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 dai dayenu dai dayenu dai dayenu 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 Elu Natan Natan Lenu Natan Let Nu Et Hashaba Natan Lenu Et Hashaba Die Nu Die Die Nu Die Die Nu Die Die Nu Die Nu Die Nu Die Die Nu Die Die Nu Die Die Nu Die Nu Die Nu ברוך אתה אדוני אלינו מלך העולם אשר קידשנו במצוותיו וציוונו על נטילת ידיים. היי, זה איאן לנדר מהחברה. אנחנו נעשה מוצי מצה. בלסינג על המצה לפני אידינג. טרדישנלי, זה נעשה מהחלק הראשון ומהחלק הראשון של המצה של המצה של המצה. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם אשר קידשנו במצוותיו וציוונו על אכילת מצה. We praise God, ruler of everything, who made us holy through obligations, commanding us to eat matzah. My name is Matt Bussey and I am the festival manager for the Gershman Philadelphia Jewish Film Festival. Maror bitter herbs, usually horseradish, symbolizing the bitterness of slavery in Egypt, and that, unfortunately, it is still a reality for some people in the world today. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher kidishanu b'mitzvotav v'tzivanu al alkilat maror. One more time, it's Max from the Jewish Federation. Now we come to Korech, the Hillel sandwich is eaten, a bite made with matzah, maror, and charoset. The Hillel sandwich is bricks and mortar, broken matzah held together by bitter herbs and a charoset. The matzah was once whole. So too, the Jewish people can become crushed and divisive, but we are held together by our common links to Torah and our shared historical experiences. The Talmud says that as Jews in Egypt, we were redeemed only because of our unity. We were unified in our commitment to each other and to the future of our people. Weeks later at Mount Sinai, we stood, stood together and accepted the Torah with one heart and one mind. Let the sweet and bitter flavors inform one another. We can all appreciate good times a little more after periods of hardship and struggle. On the merit of unity, we were redeemed from Egypt, and it is on that merit that we shall be redeemed once again. Hi, I'm Rachel Palmer, and I'm the VP of Fundraising for Nishama Hadassah. The Shulhan Ora is a festive meal while you got to enjoy the rest of this video. This is a DIY Seder, so you can pick and choose what you'd like to eat for this meal. Also, up next is singing, so please finish chewing first. Hi, my name is Lily Klein, and I am a board member of Spruce Street Minion. The next part of the Seder is Barach. Birkat Hamazon is the blessing after meals, and it is recited and includes the third cup of wine. Barach Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam, hazan et haolam kulo betuvo, bechin bechesed urachamim. 
Who knows ten lechem lecho basar ki leo lam chasto? Uv tu vo hagato. Tami lecho star lanu ve ali star lanu ma zom leo lam ba et ba abor shemo hagato. Ki luzani farnes la ko. Umetim la ko umechim ma zom lecho briotap asher bara. Baruch ata Adonai Hazanet HaKol Sovereign God of the universe, we praise you. Your goodness sustains the world. You are the God of grace, love, and compassion, the source of bread for all who live. For your love is everlasting. In your great goodness, we need never lack for food. You provide food enough for all. We praise you, O oh God, source of food for all who live. Hi, my name is Andy Cantor, and I work as the Next Gen Associate at the Jewish Federation of Greater Philadelphia. Hallel, pour your fourth cup of wine, then fill Elijah's cup with wine and Miriam's cup with water. Traditionally, Jewish people fill a cup of wine for Elijah on their Passover Seder tables, and also open the door for Elijah near the end of the Seder in recognition of the Jewish legend that the prophet Elijah visits every Seder table to announce the coming of redemption. Modern feminist Jews also put a cup of water on their Seder tables to remember Miriam the prophet, for she danced at the Sea of Reeds to celebrate the Exodus, and a well of fresh water was said to follow her in the desert so that the Israelites always had water to drink. Where Elijah represents redemption and the movement of history, Miriam represents healing and renewal on the journey. I'm going to sing Miriam's song by Debbie Friedman. And the women dancing with their timbrels followed Miriam as she sang her song. Sing a song to the one whom we've exalted. Miriam and the women danced and danced the whole night long. And Miriam was a weaver of unique variety. The tapestry she wove was one which sang our history. With every strand and every thread she crafted her delight. A woman touched with spirit, she dances towards the light. And the women dancing with their timbrels followed Miriam as she sang her song. Sing a song to the one whom we've exalted. Miriam and the women danced and danced the whole night long. When Miriam stood upon the shores and gazed across the sea, the wonder of this miracle she soon came to believe. Whoever thought the sea would part with an outstretched hand, and we would pass to freedom and march to the promised land. And the women dancing with their timbrels followed Miriam as she sang her song. Sing a song to the one whom we've exalted. Miriam and the women danced and danced the whole night long. And Miriam the prophet took her timbrel in her hand. And all the women followed her just as she had planned. And Miriam raised her voice in song. She sang with praise and might. We've just lived through a miracle. We're gonna dance tonight. And the women dancing with their timbrels followed Miriam as she sang her song. Sing a song to the one whom we've exalted. Miriam and the women danced and danced the whole night long. Eliyahu Atishmi, Eliyahu Agi. 
by Ian Lander from the Hevra again. Nirza. This concludes our DIY Seder with songs and wishes for next year, safe and healthy in Jerusalem. Hi, I'm Batel, I'm the Shlicha from the Jewish Federation, and this is Echad Mi Yodea. Echad Mi Yodea, Echad Ani Yodea, Echad Eloheinu. My name is Darren and I'm the Dillertine Fellow Coordinator at the Jewish Federation and I'm excited to share with you Chad Gad Yah. So the way my family does is that we try to sing each verse with one breath. So let's see if you can do it and we begin with Chad Gad Yah. Here we go. Chad Gad Yah, Chad Gad Yah. One kid that father bought for two zuzim. Chad Gad Yah, Chad Gad Yah. Breath. Then came a cat and ate the kid that father bought for two zuzim. God, God, ya, God, God, ya. That came a dog and bit the cat that ate the kid that father bought for two zuzim. God, God, ya, God, God, ya. Then came a stick and beat the dog that bit the cat that ate the kid that father bought for two zuzim. Chad Gad Yah, Chad Gad Yah. Then came water and doused the fire that burned the stick that beat the dog that bit the cat and ate the kid that father bought for two zuzim. Chad Gad Yah, Chad Gad Yah. This is where it gets hard. Then came an ox that drank the water that doused the fire that burnt the kid that beat the dog that bit the cat that ate the kid that father bought for two zuzim. Chad Gad Yah, Chad Gad Yah. That came a slaughter and slaughtered the ox that drank the water that doused the fire that burned the kid that beat the dog that bit the cat that ate the kid that father bought for two zuzim. Chad Gad Yah, Chad Gad Yah. Two more. Then came the angel of death that killed the slaughter, who slaughtered the ox that drank the water, that doused the fire, that burnt the stick, that beat the dog, that bit the cat, that ate the kid, that doused the water for two zuzim. Chad gad ya, chad gad ya. This is the last one. Let's get going. Take a breath and let it out. And let's, here we go. Then came the Holy One, blessed is he, and slew the angel of death, who killed the slaughter, who slaughtered the ox, that drank the water, that doused the fire, that burned the stick, that beat the dog, that bit the cat, that ate the kid, that father bought for two zuzim. Chad, God, ya, Chad, God, ya. Hi, this is Ross from Tribe 12. Thanks so much for joining our Seder this year. Chag Sameach. Eliyahu. 